For the past 10 years, Battle Royal Books has been serving the Goshen community. As it closes its doors, we take a look back on the impact it's had over the decade. It's mostly an online business now. It actually was originally just an online business and, and they, they spun the bookstore off and they had an outlet store and they, they played around with different concepts, but the online business was always the, the first thing and, uh, and it's actually 99.9% .9 of the business is, is through the online sales. I've heard a lot of people talking about a, a bunch of different things, either a game store or a bookstore or a combination of the two. You know, I've been here for four years and I've never met so many great, fun-loving, nice people in my life. It's, it's a great community. And I'll be, that's the thing that I'll miss the most is, is just all the, all the people that I've come to know here. Along with asking Better World Books General Manager Rick Newbert about his thoughts of Better World Books closing, we also asked members of the community on their thoughts as well. I've been to Better World Books ever since it's been on Washington Street. And so that's when I first heard about it and got interested in it. And it's going to be sad losing the store. I mean, this is, it has a great selection of books, history books, things like that. Um, it's going to be sad for the community. So I'm kind of sad that Goshen, um, that Better World Books is closing because, again, it was a pillar of the community. And I especially like going here. All the staff were really friendly, and I could just go around and look at books. And they were usually good price books if they were, if they were like, half off. And this is the place where I got all of my card games especially because I would always go here, and they would have what I was looking for. And so I'm going to be really sad to see this place close. Better World Books would be sorely missed, but many are grateful for the service it gave to the community. For Globe News, I'm Zachariah Begley.